I, I kind of use my music as like therapy in some ways. It's a bit of me wanting to just have this moment of catharsis with myself and be able to like find some sort of healing creatively. I can't even choose a favorite instrumental so far because they're all so different, the but they all blend so well together. But then also I, I choose to put it out into the world because I, I know how other musicians, how their music has affected me. She's just basically tried to do something that's a lot harder to execute and executed it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Just like, wait, what? Like, yeah, 100%. I'm like putting music out and allowing people to like feel um, connected to like another human who has gone through similar experiences mm. is extremely important. Um, it's something that I value. I really hope that if you're a fan of No Name that you're going you're gonna to be fucking... Because <laughs> I am. I've been searching for God in a bottle he gave me. Ashes to ashes, dearly departed, regarded as holy, don't hold me, don't hold me when niggas is dying and dying and I am afraid of the dark. Do you know that there's a Guinness World Record set for time travel? Are you serious? 100%. There's a guy that traveled all the way around the world and technically he time traveled 0 0.02 of a day ahead because of the way he traveled. So he set the world record for actually for time, time traveling. Travel. Yeah. Was that man you? <laughs> no. That'd be crazy if it was though. Bro, if there was time travel, I don't think I'd go to the past, I'd go to the future. So That's I reckon true. there'd be so much cool shit to see. And hum humanity would just be, you know, evolve so much further. That's true. I'm Alexander Sandalis. This is Jungle Beast, Australia's plug to the greatest news music of hip hop ever. This is time. <laughs> this is. I'm Platypus P. Personally, <laughs> pleased to meet thee. <laughs> and we're Jungle Beats. And we're here today to get onto. No Name and her latest tape. Room 25. That was really good, man. I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Did you come back from the future for that one? I, I really that, did. that knowledge? That was like, I'm going to go into the future. I'm going to come back and I'm going to come back with the knowledge of the name of this tape. <laughs> it's a really like personalized track uh, album with 25 tracks all about different rooms that she's been in her life. <laughs> uh, I know that one of the rooms was with me because we had a good time together. But yeah. if it's not in this album, then maybe it's a bonus room 26 album track. Yeah, I feel like that's like the live show. Live show will be room 26. She yeah. brings you up on stage when she comes to Melbourne. I'm already digging this shit. Man. Yeah, I mean, I kind of want to, can I turn it up? I want to turn it up. Yeah, yeah we're going to turn it up. up. <laughs> Maybe this is the album you listen to in your car when you drive on home late at night. Every question, every job, religion, diet, it's just, Maybe this is the entrance before you get to the river. Yeah, it sounds more confident. Our pussy teacher might be yeah. Our pussy go to pieces on colonialism. The conversation with our But still like the similar kind of thing though. Jesus. Just much more like... What are you doing on her dog, Joe? Alright, this is Black Sport Asia now. Yeah. Ties to the last line. Okay. Uh, okay. This is new. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> Dude, she's got a man. Fuck, man. Fuck, I love that bass. Yeah, bass. So good. Bad, 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 That's a really cool way to start an album. I like how on the very first track we get something very reminiscent of her telephone, last album, yeah, Telephone, telephone yeah. instrumentally. Yeah. But I feel like vocally on the first two tracks, she sounds a lot more confident and a bit more polished. Because I feel like on Telephone, she sounded like that slight bit, bit nervous and a little bit yeah. more childish in a way, even though she's talking about very adult themed things. Feel that, yeah, it's almost, feel, I mean, it's 2016 that came out. Yeah. So it's two years later, two years to refine her sound, similar kind of content, mm. still, you know, talking about identity and where she fits in the world. Yeah. And then just in general, just, uh, yeah, much more refined, I guess. Because I feel with Telephone as well, that album took her a long time to get together and she mm. wasn't really going to release it first to begin with, I think, because of just, she just, you know, she was struggling with a lot of things, so. It's a very personal album. Mm. So I think that Deeply now that personal. she's realized that Telephone was the success of it and traveling, I think she's maybe been able to open up a lot more and be a yeah. lot more confident and especially with her abilities so exactly like she has such a unique way of telling a story as she well does. you know so it, it takes often takes a big risk to sort of express that mm. you know that's always something that you appreciate about no name is that historically her music is always sounded like her like on the second song 
just like that groove and that rhythm. Oh man. It's just mental, like trying to follow that bass line, trying to follow that, that snare pattern. Um, Duh. Oh dude, the fucking, there was a mixture of like the fucking snare and the, was it like hitting the side of it, that wooden, the wooden part? The yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a mixture of that and, and the bass on top of that. It was just, it reminded me of something the internet would have done on their, on their, on their album, Ego Death. Yeah, I hear that. Like similar, sort of instrumental. Yeah. So I was expecting a Sid to come and sing in there at some point, but really. Duh. Dude, you just reminded me of the harmonies in the background too. Oh, just, the harmonies. Just beautiful, like layering. Like just quite minimalistic, but really beautifully executed. Yeah. Uh, fuck yeah, let's get to the next one. Yeah. Player song featuring Adam Ness. Player song. Oh, sorry, prayer song. <laughs> player song, prayer song. <laughs> I mean, it's a song for the players your out song, there. <laughs> but a, a prayer for my players out there. A prayer for my players, yeah. It's a prayer for my players. <laughs> Always supported the prayer for your players. I'm glad I got that right before we went into that. Thinking like, fuck man, who she fuck? <laughs> she got two on the side. Yeah, maybe. Okay, she's praying. Okay, she's praying. Okay. I don't think I heard much lyrics of that one because I was just too focused on the production. <laughs> yeah. But like I, I picked up on the word therapist. Like my mum wanted to send her to a therapist. I don't want to take that out of context though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, we're getting like a different sort of production value to this album. Like we kind of had like more of a funky track before. Was this is a more jazz influenced track here. Mm. Like the, the sprightness of some of the drum and the tempo changes. Oh, this is a band having a lot of fun. Oh yeah, man. You know what I feel like with, with the feature too, you can always, there's always like a fine line when you get a feature. It's like, will the feature make it like their own song or will they sort of fit the bigger picture? That was like the artist 100% fitting whatever identity, like the, the identity they that they blended in so much together. that yeah. if you told me it was no name, I would have been like, oh, it's no name. It was, that, that's it how was amazing. beautifully it was done. Like, yeah, I kind of get the impression those sessions would have just been them all just jamming. Yeah, exactly. And then like, just oh. being like, oh, I really like that. Let's do that. Oh, once and again, like, because like, yeah. when No Name put out the track list, she put, um, Pretty much said, this is my album and the homies. I feel like this whole album is just done by her and a lot of close friends and people yeah. just definitely work with before. People coming in and out of the studio, just whoever was in the areas, like you come through, if it was anyone like, yeah, dude. I'm sorry we're not gonna get to the lyrics as much. Normally, um, we'd pick up a bit more, but we're both big production heads, so. <laughs> Once again, she's entering like another different sort of area. I wanted to put it up a little bit more. You got it, you got it, man, you got it. So Mississippi kiss me till I turn everybody think they know me. Don't nobody really know me. Everything we ever was was empty, empty fucking cussing. I'm the one that bitch for you, my bitch too. Make your money, little TM. DM your resume, the industry, sympathy held you down, don't, don't. This one ain't even about you, that be done. Lucky, tucky, ducky, ducky, fucky all around. Fuck me on the ground, fuck me in the bed, too scared. Fuck me with your eyes closed, separate from the shit. He said, 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 he Trying to listen, but at the same time, I just feel like I'm just totally like the violence is getting me lost. 
being immersed in it. Oh. Firstly, wow, actually, what a... That's just... I generally I'm got the gonna feeling... To that a lot. Yeah. I generally got the feeling that, like, she was just with the whole group in a room recording, like, because you could hear the keys, you could hear the guitar, you could hear the bass, you could hear mm. the violins, like, everything felt live, and that's... I Like, it just felt like they were just generally just in a room just jamming together. That's, that's just what I fucking heard. Yeah. Like, this whole album sounds like it could be imported live in an amazing manner. Yeah, it doesn't sound like they've... They've been strict about structure or they've been strict about mm. anything like that. Like you said, it feels like they were just in a room and they set up, because wow. there's so many different ways you can record. You, re you can record like every indo like every, ele every element individually. Whereas this feels like they were all sort of set up in the, in a, in the space together. Mm. They could like bounce off each other, feed off each other's energy. I'm just amazed as well by the transition between Telephone to this album, what we're hearing right now. Because the first yeah. track, like we said, was very reminiscent, but it's just every track from there on has had different elements of more, I guess you could say, older genres that have like sort mm. of become what the Chicago hip hop scene is today in a way. Like a lot of yeah. the Chicago hip hop scene comes from a lot of old jazz and funk. Yeah, I mean, that's. And also, so she's gone back roots. to those roots. Yeah. And just, can, it's fucking crazy. Just man. turning the whole um, Don't Nobody Know Me, just like turning that into a hook too. Oh yeah, true, because you could have just continued it on like yeah. it was part of the song, but she then you're right, you turned it into the... the and so then the it hook. became like, yeah, and then his thing about the, quit looking out the window, uh, get to know yourself, something along those lines, you mm. know. So very speaking, like stop peering into other people's lives and focus on you, you know, like let us be us, just, just, just be yourself, quit, yeah. Quit trying to see through behind everyone's like, whatever, like everyone's insights, just let, let people be, let people be. Ooh. Ooh, already heavy. Okay. This gives me scissor vibes already. I, yeah, I hear that. Groove wise, yeah. Yeah, groove wise. Oh, they kept the violin. Nice. Get him, no name. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Bless in 2018, man. This we has are been getting. The best. Yeah, sorry. No, we're just blessed, man. Yeah. Oh, once again, another track where I feel like we get influenced from another form of genre in time of music. Yeah. But still, sort of continue on really well from the last one. Yeah, this has been a crazy. Oh. She talks. She's talking about like. Initially, she says about like the D'Angelo should get D'Angelo on this. This is a song for everyone to dance to. Oh man, like, it is. Go again, tying to that theme of just like. This is for everyone, the whole crew. There's no, it's just, everyone's invited. And when she's saying, don't forget about me, do you reckon she's coming from her perspective of her life or someone else or other people's lives? Because I was trying to sign and get on top of that. I don't know. She, it sounded more like her own. Yeah, because she, she talks about how, I hope my mum don't forget about me, how my dad don't forget about me. And yeah. I think it's really smart from the last track, because we went from the last track to being like, more about, more about herself, hmm. and to, to, to go into this track here, so. I don't think, it, I don't think it so much means as in like, passing because she talks about this is Beverly Hills like a dear friend of hers mm. passes away and so I guess she's like kind of reflecting on like I'm living this life I'm living this dream but, uh, but at the cost of like a disconnection from my own family yeah. I'm still the same person I still have these same qualities it's yeah. just I'm living a dream like don't forget about me yeah like parents like I'm out here and she's so I guess it's almost like a there's almost like a thank you in a way that's a really like, please don't forget about me I think she mentions um possibly Viking or I can't remember exactly but mm. she mentions a drug she says like they, they tell you that it helps, and I hope it does, something along those lines. So I guess coping with their own, like she's mentioned on like telephone and earlier on in these mm -hmm. songs too, coping with their own identity issues and I guess their own personal struggles. She's, I guess she turns to medication or maybe people are trying to get her to medicate. And so it's like, that also can change you as well. Mm. Um, I'm glad you're here, man, Alex, because <laughs> I wouldn't pick this shit up. <laughs>
first listen to well, that this is. is still Alexander Sandalis, so. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you were about that shit. It's a heavy, Fuck. that's a beautiful, I'm gonna, that's a beautiful song. Every track has been beautiful. Yeah, this album is just like. Fuck, man. I hope it's it continues timing. this way. So fucking pretty, man. Yeah. This is lush. It's like I'm watching an old film, like a mine. Yeah. That has like a come down to the previous song too. Like those two just go we go hand hand in hand. Mm. Did you catch much of what you were saying there? With to do with Regal? Yeah, I guess I mean Regal is a It's like a royalty, royalty term, isn't it? Yeah, or it's yeah. kinda of like you put yourself at like on like a certain level. Yeah, exactly. You're quite co like composed almost mm. and very like po poised is probably a better word for it. Mm. Like that would be another word for it. Fuck, I Honestly, can't, yeah. I can't even choose a favorite instrumental so far because they're all so different, the but they all blend so well together. Like those keys were absolutely mesmerizing. It just painted like whatever is your happy place. That's what it played. That's where it point what it painted. Dude, oh. the, yeah, the band on this is just man exceptional. Shout out to the band. Absolute emotionally beautifully charged track there. I'm not catching much, sorry, but. Because it just teleports you away, it does, doesn't it? It does. Like these sort of albums to me are ones that take multiple listens, and honestly, yeah. with what we've been through of late, this is an album that we definitely, I think, are in need of. Because I'm going to be going back to this a lot to cope with the last few weeks. So. Like I said, this is like the first thing I'm properly listening to. I think it's probably the, the best thing possible too. Yeah, it's just totally getting teleported away. Oh man, it's just such a high. Yeah. It's such a fucking high. Back in jazzy vibes. <laughs> Bruh, far, <laughs> far out. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Bruh, ah. <laughs> and layers. Yeah. So that track was, uh, I can't remember, no, Mon Montego Bay. Montego Bay. With Raven Lene. Raven Lene. Oh, whose vocals were amazing. She layered them so beautifully with the with the falsettos, man. Mm. Like, holy shit, she did her thing. Yeah. Oh. That transition point between like that, that drum fill, the way she wrote the drum yes. fill to the next section. Oh. Whoever's on the drums this album is absolutely creating the mood so fucking effortlessly and beautifully, yeah, man. You like, you could just hear it like the little, the little, off cuts and shit. It makes me learn drums so badly, right? Oh man, that's the instrument I struggled the hardest with learning when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, no, same. I'm like, like keys were <laughs> pretty, pretty easy in a way. Well, not like they're not easy. No, they're not the easiest. <laughs> Guitar was 
was, was decently easy, but drums, drums were the hardest, man, because rhythms, there were certain rhythms that like once he has to certain, like, you know, you What's he gonna do stuff here? Yeah, <laughs> my brain doesn't yeah. keep up with it. I mean, you, every, anything's possible, it's just hard as fuck. Anyways. <laughs> That track was beautiful. Real Jungle Beats sourced to the best instrumentation analysis. Yo, no name went, no name went the hardest on the chillest. The Oprah beat, line, man. dude. How cool was the Oprah line? My, the, my, she's like something like my hotel apartment is so expensive. So she, so he, like Oprah. I was like, damn. Ah, damn. But yeah, you're right, dude. She went in on she that. She went in. Oh man, another dude. beautiful fucking track. Ah! Oh shit. Okay. Excited, man. I'm fucking so excited. Oh, oh, I'm so glad they're working together again. Oh, bro. <laughs> They're so good together. Yeah, they just fucking work, man. <laughs> yes, yeah. Straight in it. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck up! What? I want bars. <laughs> Just a spring anthem right here. Yeah. That's an all scar Chicago fucking group right there. Like Smino, Saba, dude, and No Name. Oh, three of my favorite artists from oh, Chicago. How did Saba just go, bro? Sabo, he Where came in. Where did that come from? He, just, he, he came in straight after No Name finished it. You know, I've noticed too, it's a big part of the song. Cool, you mentioned that because I've noticed that so far in every song, when it is like a transition from like one artist to another, there isn't like a major moment that separates them. If you know what I mean? Do I correct us sometimes? One versus blends. Yeah, sorry. Normally there's a chorus in between or yeah. maybe like a, a change of like beat or there's, there's like there's a, something even like to, a beat cut. Just something yeah, to kind of catch your ear. But no. It did just one it flows into one the one. other, which ties to this whole idea of like community mm. and just like no one's overshadowing or, no. or being like the main focus. Like it's all just the whole time I was like, this is best verse of the year. And then like no names verse. We have to rock. Well, oh, dude, she has to be like one of the best rappers going right now. Right. Like she one is. Of the top MCs. I think so. hundred percent. Just in terms of like wordplay. I mean, I'm going to go back and study this album like another time. hundred percent. But just like in terms of just her flow. Oh my God, dude. Man. And she got to a stage where she could have been like, oh, Telephone did really good. I can make a more pop appealing sound now and be a bit more... No, she's no. gone. She's gone to like all the fucking roots she's of just music, She's trusted man. herself and the people around her. Oh. She, has an, she would have an amazing yeah, team man. of people that, that just all trust each other. And, and just... Smino on the beginning. And even he had the backing the... vocals. Like yeah. The, Ooh, yeah, exactly. Wah, wah. So he did his thing on there. The hook, I think, oh, is going to take a bit of time to grow on me. Yeah, yeah. It's like the first part of it, I think. I honestly... Bit. I don't know if this might... I don't know if it'll be a favorite from the album, mm. but I know for sure this be a track that I go back to probably near the most because of yeah, the yeah, yeah. impact and the vibe that it has. Like yeah. you can put this in nearly any situation, man. Yeah, exactly. It's such a vibe. It feels, yeah, it feels like, yeah, it's one of those songs, isn't it? Mm. When you just, when you want to feel a certain way, this is the one you put yeah, on. Yeah, like there'll be tracks on this album, which I'll probably like more, mm. but they w won't fit every mood. No, but this, Whew. the verses on this were just like, they all just went in. It was like, they were just, oh man. God damn, man. <laughs> Oh, dude, those drums, man. Mm. Oh, Felix again. Wow. What up, plant? <laughs> hey, bro. Good. I haven't heard this guy. Yeah. 
flex your wrist like an edge sketches. I'm smoking the pavement. I'm talking moonshot, night walk, underground, high stakes. I don't put the chop on the baby people die late. Oh, what a drug is here. Oh, what a dog is here. I've been everywhere, everywhere, let me down. Warn every act, every act with a crown. Now, every hand bow, get it up. Benjamin L. Turner was the, the, the rap feature at the end there. Those drums can just go on oh, forever. That's the thing, like we didn't want it to end, we are just like, yeah. wait, this shit over? That was just... A Benjamin L. Turner, did you say? Yeah. Fit perfectly. Yeah, I, I wasn't too sure in like the first few seconds because he was like, he was a lot louder than the initial mm. the quietness of No Name, but like when he started to do that, sing, that singing sort of half style rap, I was like, okay, you fit, you fit. Define it. Oh, Great hook. I can't, I'm not going to try to recreate that. Dude, hook. I always try that <laughs> fantasy. Ah, that's going to be stuck in my head for a while. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a real catchy tune. Yeah. Another fucking vibe. No name. You, you, were, you were making a fucking name for your fucking self right here, girl. Yeah. Like, this, is, this album has been, this year, sorry, this album, this year has been stacked in terms of releases. This is just. This is just. This has something going on right this now. This is a beautiful fucking piece of art. And yeah. this, these last tracks could be trash for all we know and wreck the whole thing, but let's find, <laughs> let's find out. Imagine it just flips. Maybe she can talk about how she found a dead corpse and decided to play around with it. Uh, and we just find out she's like really into necrophilia. necrophilia. And we're like, whoa! <laughs> this took a turn! <laughs> she's so honest, bro. <laughs> The drums, man! Yeah, man. The he's drums! So good. He's so good. <laughs> Who is it? Who's the drummer? Ah! <laughs> and the guitar is just writing it so perfectly. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> That was with you, uh, that Sean was Sweet. With you. That was with you, Sandals. <laughs> good to be back in Melbourne. <laughs> How was your trip away? It's good, it's good. It's good. I had a bit of food poisoning, but you know, it happens. It was nice though. You looked different. <laughs> yeah, it looked really different. The food poisoning took a lot out of me. <laughs> I'm glad you got through, bro. It was rough. <laughs> it was rough. But you know, it was all right. The dramas were fucking... Not just this track, but overall, like, I hope that, like, who she's worked with in this album are the people she's going to be traveling with performing as well. I'd assume... I'd hope so. 100%. Or maybe... Possibly. Yeah, oh, man, I'd hope so. Um, I yeah. want to get some, I want to dive into them. Like, what are, what are their projects? Like, what are they doing outside of this? Or are they even right. doing anything outside you, of this? If you haven't picked up... Are they fully committed and just... If you haven't picked up already, guys, like, we definitely a big producer head, so... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> just that, like... The guitar is writing it so perfectly. Mm. And it's one thing I've noticed that's done really smartly throughout this album is a lot of the instruments that you hear present for the first time flow into the album. Because with the yes. violin, we got it flowing to the next track. With this guitar, we got it present in the last track. Yeah. Like that same style of guitar. So it feels like she's been very smart with what she's... The way this, this album's flowing from track to track, she's just including implements of past, past tracks. And it doesn't feel like anyone's trying to outshine anyone else. No. Like the guitar isn't trying to be like the focal point of the song. Neither, I mean, I guess the drums you could argue, but like mm. it's more about the groove that's the focal point rather than like the drum of the, like that make, I've heard that, I hope I'm wording that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more just like everything is just so well glued together. It's just a really beautiful track. Yeah, you can feel the love on it. Dude. I can feel the love. <laughs> so we got a biographical track. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. It's a whole different vibe right now. That's so cool.
time this album was like left me just totally fucking sorry to swear totally speechless <laughs> beep that <laughs> dude that <laughs> intro was so beautiful that i just i wouldn't have cared if the whole last track was just a pure intro when she when she came in rapping i actually jolted back to reality yeah because i was lost in that fucking intro oh just the way the guitar and then the shimmering keys came up and then they over overrided it and then it just kept building and then she just she just came in without without a fucking warning it kind of felt like the the yeah with the name of the song was no name as well yeah yeah perfect it's just her man yeah it just feels like so there was something kind of hopeful about it you know Where like she's, a somber hopefulness yeah exactly like don't let it pass you by like there's all these moments going on around you or mm. this you may you might feel overwhelmed at times like enjoy the little things just yeah take you take stock of like what you have mm. I can't wait to dive back into this lyrically. Yeah. Because at the moment, I'm just overwhelmed by the production and the effort of all the people around it. Yeah. The homies have gone into this. So it's going to be great to oh, dude. delve back in that manner. That was, once again, an amazing outro. And there were, to me, there wasn't really any bad moments on this album. You said it perfectly just then about like the, because like the, the reason why it sounds so like seamless in terms of everyone just like vibing together would have been because of the amount of time they spent on it. Mm. You know, Stuff like this comes naturally, but like to get it to this level, you have to spend like a lot of time, like with people. Yeah, exactly. You gotta have a bond. That trust and love. Yeah, there's the bond of like music, but also friendship that you can hear throughout this album. Like you can yeah. tell that not only did do they have like they're all synchronized with love for this project, but also just they're they're having fun with it too. Yeah, this is so perfect. Room twenty five. Uh, Honestly, straight up already a contender for top 10, top five album. Like just amazingly done. Shit, I really hope that if you're a fan of No Name that you're gonna, you're gonna be fucking, <laughs> as I am. Like honestly, Telephone was, if you checked out my best albums of 2016, that would, got number five. Hmm. And I honestly think this is better. Just straight up. Like I know, I know obviously you're like albums like, Yeah, there's a, I don't, I don't be careful like with the word better though because uh, I think maybe if you got to also like factor in like the yeah, time. That's that's very true. It's maybe like it definitely may like more like refined would probably be I the think, word. Because I, I feel like Telephone, we're getting like one sort of style from her, yeah. and obviously like a very vulnerable side of her. And we're still getting that here, but she's just she's just experimenting so many other styles, but still keeping it cohesive. So it's a harder thing to do, and she's pulled it off in the same manner. Yeah. So maybe that's a better way of wording it. She's just basically tried to do something that's a lot harder to execute and <laughs> executed it perfectly. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> just like wait what like yeah 100 percent. like she did something that's way harder to execute yeah. and then she did it perfectly that yeah. band and her her whole oh wow what a anyway uh we're uh. Down the beats and uh hope you've enjoyed this we've really fucking enjoyed it i can't wait to dive back into it on my way home yeah at work every other way in the shower masturbating sex patting my cat everything fuck putting my phone charger in the socket in and out a hundred times because my daily routine for my hand master charge is to listen to it then you know what it is we jump yeah you you've got it down it down thank you y'all he's healthy and aristocats for cats getting money he still smoke reggie and love me sunny like carnations in a magazine magazine pretty diamond cats get off the collarbone watch it waterfall